And welcome back. Let's check in with Talk Media News and find out what's going on in the world today. This report brought to you by Goats for the Old Goat.com and Ellen Ratner's new book, Loving What You Do. On the line with us, the author of Sideswiped, former Congressman Bob Ney. Uh, Congressman, welcome back. Thank you, Tom. Pleasure to be here. So I'm curious your thoughts. The two big stories of the day, uh, apparently the tax bill is out of conference committee or on its way out. And Ajit Pai and his two uh, male Republican compatriots on the FCC uh, defied the two female Democrats and said, no, we're going to turn the, uh, the, the Internet of the United States over to a small handful of very large multi-billion dollar corporations. Well, it, it is a big day, and uh, especially for the, uh, for the wealthy and the powerful, I guess. Uh, let me get to the tax bill first. It's interesting you said tax bill, and I did too. I've been watching, you know, uh, the members of Congress on the Republican side that support the bill, mm -hmm. and they call it the tax bill. Wouldn't you think that it would be hammered into their head, because it was into mine when I was in Congress, the tax relief bill? the middle class relief bill it's the tax bill and i've watched them say it on tv i'm just yeah or the jobs about jobs you know, bill is the way that they've been trying to sell it but nobody's well, buying but that everybody knows it's bs tax bill and yeah. i thought if you can't promote it you can't get ahead of the curve it's going to be a rough road to hope oh i don't think they care i mean it's got 20 percent approval rating and four out of five right. republicans are, are are opposed well actually i guess it's two out of three republicans are opposed to the tax bill four out of five are opposed to to ending net neutrality um, well, they never got out in front of it to even you know explain it yeah. now it's coming out of a congress committee which i said in my notes today that i sent out that it was basically breakfast with mitch mcconnell and speaker ryan the last couple of weeks because that was the conference committee let's hmm. face it you know you did they you not even invite the democrats to come to the conference committee or did the democrats refuse to show or i mean was or was this no, bipartisan no it was it was controlled i mean look i i, I know there's closed conference committees you know i, I served there but right. this one was orchestrated literally at the top with the two leaders because they couldn't afford for this thing to go a normal conference committee course complicated bills will tend to go sometimes three, four, five months, six months, or a year when they're, you know, difficult, complicated bills like this one. Right. Now, I know the two bills, the House and the Senate, weren't that far off, but there's a lot of implications to this bill. I will predict, of course, the bill's going to, it's going to go, and it's going to be signed. It's going to be a little bit of a, of a hairy race here because they can't afford for this bill to go, you know, very long. I mean, if they, right. if they could have their druthers, they would bring it up tomorrow morning. The longer this goes, the worse it is. Well, right now, don't they have to wait for it to be scored in order to try and pass it through reconciliation? Well, yes. I mean, but they'll, 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 they'll get it scored. But every day they the wait, other. John McCain's treatments are apparently uh, inhibiting his ability to show up in D.C. and vote. He's missed a couple of votes and a couple of meetings That's because correct. because of his cancer treatments. So if they lose McCain as a potential vote, just purely for the health considerations, Susan Collins is apparently still you know, the GOP's sucker. I mean, you know, the, she, she seemed, she's still mouthing the, the words, telling right. everybody that she got what she wanted from Mitch McConnell, but it seems like she's just being played for the fool. It's really tragic. But do you see any other Republicans who might bail on this thing? And, and you know, Barack Obama, when, when Scott Brown got elected in that special election to replace Ted Kennedy, when Scott Brown got elected, Barack Obama came out and said, we're not going, you know, I'm calling on the leaders, leader of the Senate uh, I think it was Harry Reid at the time, to not hold a vote on Obamacare until Scott Brown has been seated so he can vote on it. He, you know, Obama did the right thing. Um, uh, Trump and McConnell are trying to do the absolute wrong thing and keep Doug Jones from even being seated until they've done this. Well, that's why they're going to move fast on this, because uh, not wanting to get into that argument, I think, you know, with Chuck Schumer uh, on, on the seating of Jones, and then, of course, McCain, as you mentioned, and Thad Cochran of Mississippi has health care issues. So right. there's a lot of variables there. The vice president has now delayed his trip to Egypt officially because he's going to be on board, frankly, to probably cast the deciding vote. That's where it's going to boil down to. If they lose one more, the bill will die. Right. It right. will die. So they're going to have to move, you know, move on it. And of course, the one thing that's in there is the uh, health care mandate, and uh, you know that the Senate, yeah, of course, blowing up Obamacare. But the the CBO scoring process um, 
correct me if I'm wrong, they, I believe that the, it has to be scored in order for it to be passed by reconciliation, and then the process of scoring it typically takes, what, three or four days? Usually, three or four days. I mean, yeah. So we might see this legislation up for a vote next week? Yeah. Oh, yes, I think so. I again, they cannot afford for people to go home. They can't afford for this to delay. This is so precarious. Who would have thought, if you, if you and I were talking a couple of days ago, which we were, who would have thought that McCain now would play into this? Now, right. I knew with Collins, if she actually officially didn't get what she said she had to have, then she'll say, well, they promised her something. I knew that that, that variable would be there. But nobody anticipated, uh, you know, John McCain uh, having, uh, you know, additional medical treatments. So what could happen next week if they don't do this? Yeah. You know? It's, it's going to be a real interesting to watch. And then the net new neutrality. Now, this is beginning a process, but stage one has now happened where it has been undone officially right. by the uh, FCC, the Federal Communications Commission. Marsha Blackburn is going to hold a hearing and has not mentioned uh, fast lane or throttling, you know, the main issues there of, of the reason there was net neutrality. Now, Comcast had something up on the website that they would not be participating in fast lane where, you know, you would pay more to get right. the faster speed. But then that went down briefly off their site, I believe, Tom. Yes. So, you know, there's who's going to say what's going to happen, of course, if this remains this way. Uh, you, you know what if you're a for-profit like. company that's delivering internet services to to your customers I mean that's your business your mandate is to increase your profit and if you can increase your profit by having your own content go through faster and and your competitors content go through slower you'd be crazy not to do it well exactly exactly I mean and you you would arguably be breaking the law by not doing it because you wouldn't be you know or at least you know security laws you wouldn't be doing what's in the best interest of your investors I mean, it's Correct. just, uh, it shouldn't surprise us that these companies are going to do everything they can to rip sure us off. Will. That's what companies do. That's called the it's profit old. motive. Bob, anyhow, pardon my rant, Bob. Bob, Bob oh, Nay with Talk right. Media News, author of Sideswipe. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. Good talking with you. We'll be back.